So today we're going from Aptabad to Balakot and let's see what all is happening there. What is life like in Balakot? We've only just got out of Aftabad and we're near, well, we're in the biggest city of Mansera in this district. And oh my god, it's even more beautiful than Aftabad and more picturesque. These incredible mountains that we're surrounded by in this amazing roadway on the expressway. It's just, it's absolutely mind blowing. It reminds me of New Zealand a little bit. But the scale is epic here in Pakistan. The scale is absolutely epic. And this road actually goes all the way to Gilgit. But right now the road is completely frozen and you can't go up that far. So we'll go as far as Balakot. We are off the expressway now and we're just passing through all these beautiful little villages and the farmers are out on their fields and the kids are walking to school right now. The women are taking them to school and wow it's just stunning here in the mountains it's such a beautiful place to live these people are so lucky the roads just got extremely bad as we turned into Naya Balakot or New Balakot they actually told everyone to move out of Balakot after the earthquake in the future can't build her anymore you guys have got to leave and they set up Naya Balakot. But as we're going to see, not everybody left. People don't want to leave and people are still there at the old Balakot. And that's where we're going. It's right next to the Kunar River. We are not going to stay here in Naya Balakot. We're not going to stop. We're just going to keep going. I can see how people didn't want to leave the new Balakot. This place is absolutely incredible with the river running through it and the mountains on either side and the snow and the trees. My God, God, I feel so lucky to be here, honestly, so lucky. We're just entering Balakot now and we came for our first security checkpoint and the guy was so friendly. He asked if we want to come in and have some tea with him, but I politely declined gonna have tea and some food when we get to Balakot. Oh and I did the dumbest thing. I spoke in Urdu to the, uh, the security guy because he asked me Apkaha Sehen and I mean yeah sorry I replied in Hindi but then the next question is always how do you know Urdu or Hindi and it's just like oh I don't want to have to go through this. You never know what they're going to think if you say your wife is Indian and, and this type of stuff. So uh, yeah, keep it all in English, basically. Or else the questions keep coming, but this guy is very friendly. Just wanted to know why I was going to Balakot and I just said to experience the beauty of this place.
Todosto, we made it to Balakot and oh my god, this you could tell how amazing this road trip was, right? I mean, we're still gonna go, we're gonna go eat some amazing food next, see what's available at the market behind me. But here is the Kuna River. There's the new bridge. We're standing here on the old bridge and the air is just fresh here. The sound of the water is so soothing and just the mountains behind me, just incredible. And this is not even Gilgit, you know what I mean? Like if you keep taking this road up here, if you keep going up, Pakistan just gets even more incredibly beautiful. I'm gonna come back in summer and go all the way up into the mountains, but right now the road is closed. So here are the people of Balakot. This is, this is the main bazaar right by the old bridge here. I'm just gonna take a quick walk through and try and find some interesting food. I think we're gonna have chapli kebab or what they call here chapal kebab. Do they mean chapal? I don't know, like the shoes or what? Wow, look at what we got here. Some yummy sweets, nah? Beautiful. Assalamu alaikum ji. Kaise? Bohra cha ji. Look at how they've cut these into like triangles. What's on there? Looks like soap. Shukri ji. Kya ji? Ha, sab theek hai, bilkul. Thank you, bye. Now this way you have the new bridge there, the way to Gilgit, and then the main road here. This is where we're gonna find some food right now. And because of what I'm wearing, people are a bit confused. They're not sure if I'm a local, a Pathan, or you know, a foreigner. When they hear me speaking English to the camera, then they know. Okay, say AG, subtake. Look at this guy's eyes. Up, up, Nile Ake. You know? Exactly the same as mine, and that's why people could get confused. Because I, I can pass off as a Pakistani. You know? Agame Urdu, Bor Rahahuna. Now, these guys here, they're selling. You have chicken. Chicken. And then you have pigeons. And under care here. Oh, or chickens. More little chickens. Ah, <laughs> uh, there are more along here. And then some kabutar here. I don't know if I understood the guy correctly, but he told me that they sell the pigeons for eating. I didn't know. Maybe they do, maybe they don't, I'm not sure. Now behind me is a brand new concept. I had no idea that they have unisex toilets here in Pakistan, because I didn't want to go in because I saw a woman in there. I'm like, oh, I can't go in, it must be a woman's toilet. But no, 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 there's nothing like the feel of a mountain town, is there? Yeji, what is this? Shami Burger. Shami Kebab, Shami Burger. Wow. This is something new, I've never seen this before. And so he's making, it's, it's a vegetarian dish actually. And they're also selling chole chaat and chicken biryani. I think that we should try this, right? Like this, this shami kebab burger, vegetarian, looks good. This is the, the little dining hall they have here. And man, I probably wouldn't recommend you all eat the street food like I do, but my stomach's pretty, pretty tough. And here it is, you eat it with tomato sauce and hurry chutney. It's very, very similar to Dabali in Gujarat. Very similar. Very tasty. Very buttery, very oily. All right, I found what I wanted. This is chapli kebab. And this is what a little chapli kebab store looks like. A ton of people in there eating. And now he's gonna fry up this beef kebab and it's very very oily but super tasty and so inside the beef they've mixed it with tomatoes onions all different types of spices and you eat it with a rogni naan 
and I'll have it with tea as well. And everyone's looking quite surprised at seeing a foreigner vlogging here. And just have a look, it's all cooked on wood fire and that really, really adds to the flavor of these chapli kebabs. So this is a chapli kebab and it is, oh my god, it just smells of beef and you can see the bits of fat in there and all the kind of spices and chili that's in there. Mm. Oh my god. It's just the juiciest beef that you can have, honestly. It's so juicy. And of course you have a naan bread. It's only 50 rupees here in Balakot. So you're not going to get the very fancy rogani naan, which I love. You're just going to get a plain naan. But that's fine. The chapli kebab is, is juicy enough, man. These guys behind me, this group of men there, they're telling me they've been coming here since they were children. Like this store is that old and I just happened to find it by mistake. So really sweet. And these guys are so friendly. They just remind me of, even, even in space, just reminds me of my family in, in, in Haryana, you know? <laughs> I know it is, another guy, another guy. All right, tea came. It is super, super creamy. It's awesome. And so as you can see, I'm having a damn good time here in Balakot. <laughs> Who would have thought, you know, I just decided yesterday, tell her, I've heard of Balakot. Let's go and see what's happening in Balakot. So go on these random adventures, guys. Like, just choose a place on the map and go. This one's been well worth it. Howdy. And so this guy is paying for... And so this guy is busy paying for my food, he just told me. I told him no, but... Yeah. He's paying for it. And so those guys, I was just chatting with them before and they just went and paid for my meal just like that. Just because I was speaking in Urdu to them and you know, telling them where I'm from and telling them my story, so... Wow. So friendly people I have. I'm still here, I'm just hanging out and I've, I've made some more friends and... If you can just speak a little bit of Urdu, it really, really, really helps you here in Pakistan. Like, you can just learn like, Assalamu Alaikum and Kaysa Hain. That'll get you so far with the locals here and earn you so much respect as well. That chapli kebab, 50 rupees with the naan and the tea is just 20 rupees a cup. I had, I had two. The smaller the place like this, the cheaper everything is. It's just so cheap. So Dosto, how did you guys like Balakot? How did you like the trip here? Tell me in the comments. Did it make you think at all? Because I absolutely had a blast coming to Balakot and I'm so glad I did. <laughs>